Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. What we're going to do in this video is address something that has been a concern for a lot of Amazon Fire TV users. What that is, is the concern that you're no longer going to be able to use YouTube on the Amazon Fire TV. Even more, if you can find YouTube on the Fire TV, can you access all of your subscriptions? The answer is yes and yes, and it's actually really easy. There's some people out there telling you to download third-party things, third-party add-ons that aren't even really YouTube but can sign in. If those are working for you, well, okay, that's fine. But I tend to see a lot of third-party things come and go. Sometimes YouTube will shut them down, and I just want you to see the way to do it without having to play any games. The easiest way to do it is to use Firefox, so you can ask for it. Firefox. Firefox is now available as a browser on the Fire TV, and it's an official browser. So all you have to do is ask for it. You see it's Firefox for Fire TV. This isn't a side-loaded version from ES File Explorer or anything else. It will download it and install it for you. And we'll go ahead and open it from here. All right. So this is actually the home page for Firefox. And you'll see that there's all of these little kind of prefab bookmarks. They bring you to a lot of video sites, as well as like Fandango, where you can buy movie tickets and things like that. But what we're going to take a look at right now is YouTube. And this is really cool. You just click on the YouTube section here. And it's going to open it up directly into a YouTube experience that feels like the full-on YouTube app. And it gives you an idea that you can sign in right here. If you do say you want to sign in, it's going to prompt you to go here to YouTube slash activate. Sorry, YouTube.com slash activate. You can read it for yourself. And when you're there, you type in that little note there, WFWD. ZTW4. And if you want to do that, all you got to do is follow those instructions. Now, now, if you're wondering, well, why is this able to work? That doesn't look like an app. Here's how. What the website is, is it's YouTube.com. Let's see. See if we can go show you the whole thing, really. It's accessing this. It's accessing youtube.com slash TV. And you can actually do that on numerous devices. I'll show you what I mean. Just as an example, you can do it through the Silk browser, which doesn't have YouTube built in that way. Right now, I'm actually signed in. I'm actually at YouTube slash TV. And you'll see, I have my subscriptions. But in order to get to it, see, it's youtube.com slash TV, just like I was showing you. You can go to it from start, from scratch. You... So you can do this if you don't want to use the Firefox browser and you just want to stick with the Silk browser. .com. Slash. TV. See, it's launching into it. Now, the reason you have to write slash TV in on the browser is very important, and I'll show you what it is. A 
because if you just go to youtube.com, it does not bring you to that kind of website. It brings you to like the mobile version of YouTube. At least that's what it does when you're using the browser here. If you're on your computer, it just brings you to the you know the site for your computer. But if you go to youtube.com, we'll show you what it does. See, it loads up a page that's essentially your browser, which works. I mean, you can watch videos. You can even sign in. So if you come over here, you sign in. And, you know, there you go. You enter your information the old-fashioned way. But what you'll notice if you look at the actual URL is that it's different because it's YouTube.com. Some some browsers will bounce down and it'll, it'll turn into m.youtube.com, like mobile youtube.com. But that's the difference between youtube.com and youtube.com slash TV. So I hope you found that helpful. I think it's really cool that there is such an easy workaround. I'm not particularly surprised considering that Amazon had to know that people were going to want to be able to get into YouTube. But that is it. Go into Firefox, and YouTube is right there, right from the home screen. Ta-da! So, I hope you found that helpful. I thought it was pretty cool that this app came along when it did. And I'm also excited to see Amazon adding these browsers because they're really helpful for so many reasons. But till next time, I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Please subscribe if you found this helpful and share it with your friends. And as always, stream on, my friends.